guys, Adam Pancho with the Sig Sauer Academy. What I've got right here is the 238 Desert. 238, generally speaking, what a great little piece. So all 238s chambered in 380. So nice little round right there, but certainly do the job. What I like about the 238 family is real compact, awesome for concealed carry. Pocket, you know, ankle, purse holster. Uh, for me personally, the 238, that's my jogging gun. Throw in a belly band, go out for a run, and I got some firepower on me. With the 238 Desert specifically, obviously you got the desert finish. In fact, it's a two-tone desert finish. Uh, grips on this, real nice. This is a Hogue rubber one-piece grip, swells out here, a little finger groove up front, really allows you to get a nice purchase on this gun. It just kind of feels like home when you're holding on to this thing. Combined with that grip that feels real nice is this extended magazine. So this 238 Desert comes with one seven-round magazine. So this seven-round magazine is actually extended. It sits out the bottom of the gun just a little bit and allows that pinky to get on there so you have a spot for the pinky right there. On top, you've got Sig Light Night Sights. So what I like about this, in these little guns right here, this is a full, full size set of sights. So these are the same sights I'd have on my 226, my 320, or my 229, same exact sights. And these are Sig Light night sights, so they're gonna glow in the dark, so good for low light conditions. Trigger system on the 238, on all 238s, is a single action trigger system. So it's kind of like a mini 1911. This is a locked and cocked type of pistol carried in a locked and cocked configuration, meaning hammer is cocked back and the safety lever is up or engaged. So to shoot, all I'm gonna have to do is drop that safety lever and pull the trigger and you got a nice crisp single action trigger on this and a nice short reset on it as well. Real pleasant little guns to shoot. So that's the Sig Sauer P238 and this is the P238 Desert. For more information about all Sig products, visit SigSauer.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel The M&P family keeps growing with this new edition of the M&P 380 Shield. And what you know from the M&P M2.0 platform is all incorporated into this new little gun. First and foremost, you have that optimal 18 degree grip angle. You have the option of an ambidextrous safety. And you also have that reversible magazine catch that is very, very desirable for left-handed shooters. It also integrates an accessory rail so you can mount your favorite laser or light. What makes this M&P 380 shield truly stand out is how easy it is to use. And first and foremost, let's talk about racking the slide. A lot of shooters really struggle with racking the slide to the rear, but this pistol with its easy rack system makes it almost effortless. Another easy to use feature, loading the magazines. Not only does the firearm come with two magazines, but it also has an easy load button to make loading your mags simple and quick. For the trigger on this M&P 380 shield, it's a single one-piece trigger that breaks crisp and light at about five pounds. Unlike other M2.0s, this firearm features a grip safety, but it also comes with that texture all the way around the grip. This is optimized for that 380 caliber. The slide profile is very similar with this M&P and the rest of the M&P family, but it also includes a tactile loaded chamber indicator, and the slide is tapered to allow you to get that easy rack position to rack the slide. With all the easy features of this firearm, there's one more you should know, how simple it is to take down. Simply remove the magazine, push down on the takedown lever and the slide release, and pull forward. You don't even have to pull the trigger. It's ideal for those looking for a firearm for personal protection, home defense, or even on the range. This easy to use system is definitely one you'll want to check out. Joe Kurtenbach with the NRA, Managing Editor of American Rifleman. Today I got my first chance to see Springfield Armory's new 911, and this is a really nice pocket size uh, 380 semi-automatic. It's a hammer-fired gun. We actually see a couple other models like this in the marketplace that are very popular, especially because they can be used uh, for personal defense, pocket carry. They're small, easily portable firearms, um, and the first rule of armed self-defense is that you have to have a firearm on you. So having a gun that is very easy to carry is, is very important. On the slide, you've got good serrations. And one of the best things I think that Springfield has done is put real sights on this. A lot of times you get these pocket guns and they don't have real usable sights. These are steel sights. They're actually from Ameriglow. They have tritium inserts, so good for low light conditions as well. The front sight is very bold with a bright green ring around the front. And as well, you get kind of a ledge style on the rear sight for one-handed manipulations of the slide. So really some thoughtful design here. You also have a bilateral safety. Overall, this is a, a really well thought out uh, firearm. And it's not only small, it's also very light. In fact, even the trigger is G10 material. Um, so very interesting gun, a great introduction from Springfield because there's definitely room in the market 
uh, for more guns of this of this size and caliber. So 380, good personal defense round, uh, and this is definitely a very easily portable and concealable firearm. So great new introduction from Springfield Armory. Hey, how you doing guys? Adam Painter with the Sig Sauer Academy. What I've got in my hands right now is the Sig Sauer P290 RS. We've had this gun out now for a couple years, since about 2012 or so in 9mm. Uh, proven to be one of the more popular concealed carry pieces out there in 9mm. In fact, I've got one on my ankle right now. However, the latest and greatest offering from Sig Sauer in the 290 family is the 290 RS chambered in 380. All right, so the advantage of the 380 versus the 9mm in this pistol is one, very pleasant to shoot. 380 cartridge, very popular for concealed carry and personal defense, a lot of options out there for ammunition. And uh, the reality is in a really small pistol like the 290, the 380 is very shootable, uh, user friendly, just feels good to shoot, doesn't push or move too much in your hand as you shoot it. Other major advantage of the 290 and 380 is the slide manipulation is very lightweight. We teach a lot of classes out here. Uh, at, at SIG and the SIG Academy, and we've we've noticed that racking the slides with folks with uh, reduced hand strength or arthritic hands or or men and ladies with uh, with maybe not a whole lot of hand strength that they have problems racking the slide. Uh, but the 380 very easy to rack, nice light spring in here, so locking the slide to the rear or simply loading and chambering up your gun, very easy to do and very easy to manipulate. And you combine that with the light recoil of the 380 uh, in the 290 package. This is a great concealed carry piece. Uh, the one I'm holding right now is actually the enhanced pink. The enhanced pink comes with removable G10 grip plates. It's a two-tone, and it comes with two magazines. It comes with the standard flush fit six-round magazine, and it also comes with the extended eight-round magazine, so you can get a full hand grip on it, uh, which is uh, which is real nice as well. The other version that the 290 380 RS is coming in is the two tone with a laser. So this one actually has a laser built into it. Of course, you can take it off. And by simply indexing my finger straight, I can activate the laser either on the right or the left. And all the 290 family uh, comes with the Sig Light night sights. And it's the standard sights that we have on our 226 or our 229 or any of our other guns. And uh, one of the things I really like about the 290 for a concealed carry piece, whether you're carrying that off body and maybe a purse holster or a bag holster or uh, on your body, a pocket, ankle, appendix, is uh, the fact it is a double action, it's a double action only. So the hammer is basically, you know, inset into the frame, into the slide, so it's not protruding. And you have a nice double action trigger pull, nothing gets snagged up on, uh, very reliable type of double action uh, pistol, easy to shoot, the double Stop.